Hey guys, the OHD here, and I am back with another reaction video. And today, I'm gonna film my reaction to. You guys remember my last video? You know where I, after a three-minute mark, I uh, I like had to check what happens in my last video. No, when I tried to react to the Three Apple Massacre fanfic reading by the Lost Narrator. Yeah, that video. Yeah. That video didn't quite go so well because it was a reaction fail. <sighs> because all there was was just black. Just black. And yes, she talked at the end. So yeah. To make it up to you guys about that last video, I'm going to react to another MLP fanfic reading that is actually real. I promise you guys, this one's real. And this one is called This Little Piggy. And it's a MLP fanfic reading by the Lost Narrator. And yes, I haven't heard of this fanfic re I haven't heard of this fanfiction at all. But when I looked at the thumbnail, it had to do with an alternate universe. Maybe it could be like the Equestria Girls one. But anyways, let's get this started in... Oh, hold, let me adjust the volume. Okay. Starting in 3, 2, 1, click... Here a piano. There was a time when I thought having any friends at all was a good thing. I didn't really discriminate who I hung out with because of the fact that so few people wanted to hang out with me in the first place. I mean, who could blame them? Nobody wants to hang around a lanky, weird-looking teenager like me. Or at least that's what I thought. When I found this group, in hindsight, unsavory individuals who yeah. took me in. I leapt at the opportunity. We weren't a gang, per se. We never really did anything serious enough or hard enough to qualify us for such a title. We did small stuff. Keying cars, breaking windows, smoking in the school bathroom, some tagging here and there. We never tried to hurt anyone. Yep. We were just annoying yep. teenagers. Yep, just what I thought it would be. Our it's an Equestria Girls fanfiction. Or just John. an... Alternate universe fanfiction, I don't know. Small potatoes. John was a bigger fellow than us, and we felt safe around him. But he was also the guy that really pushed the envelope on all kinds of things that we did. I'm not going to say that we had no choice in the matter. I'm not going to blame everything on him. But we wouldn't have been brave enough to commit half the misdemeanors we ended up doing without him goading us on. That was what he was doing that fateful night. But this time it was something much darker than his usual idea. John and I were alone that night, wandering the streets. So it's nighttime now. For easy cars to break into, everything was still getting scary the fresh already. Of rain that had peppered the city for hours on end and left a damp smell in the air. He spotted this girl wandering the dimly lit street alone, skipping and humming to herself without a care in the world. She looked about our age, but there was something about her that was strange. Maybe it was her pink hair, maybe it was the dress with the balloons on it, or maybe it was that jovial attitude she had while being all alone on the city streets. But something about this girl was just... It's Pinkie Pie. She has a pink she mane. She almost didn't seem real, like she didn't fit in the dreary streets she was walking in. John was mesmerized. He said something about her that I dare not repeat in polite company. And he invited me to follow him so we could have some fun with her. John had never, ever gotten that dark on us before. And I didn't want anything to do with what he was saying. But, well, he was a charismatic and intimidating individual. And back then, I was nothing short of oh. a coward. Okay, now we see I some art. I, slam. I glanced I over at her. I can't tell what that is. And I noticed she had caught my eye and winked. At least, I think she winked. I'm not too sure. It was pretty dark, and we had the That thing right there kind of looks like the My tower from Teen Titans Go. As John slowly walked in the girl's direction, I kept close behind him, a nervous wreck as I tried to figure out a way out of this mess that didn't make John turn on me. Oh, wait. <laughs> the pink haired girl. Are they in a tunnel? And went into the alley. If not, I don't know what that is. As she skipped. I remember the hair standing on the back of my neck, as it seemed to echo around us. 
John was practically salivating as he rounded the corner behind her. Hey, where'd she go? He had said. I just peered from behind him to see that she had indeed vanished. I'm right here, Sui. A bubbly voice had echoed from around us. She sounded unnervingly relaxed, and the fact that I couldn't see her only sent me on edge even more. John you know what, I'm, I'm going to my trash can in case if I get sick in some parts. Some fun, though his phrase was a bit more <sighs> lewdly than I would have cared to get into. <laughs> she just giggled, though, and the echo from that giggle seemed to stretch on forever. I couldn't help but feel like the alley was narrower and longer than it had been when we walked into it. John was getting annoyed now, and he never did like getting laughed at and demanded for the girl to come out. Down here! She had said in a sing-song voice. He had glanced down to his feet to see a reflection, not of him, but of the girl staring back at him from the puddle. His face visibly blanched, even in the dark, damp night. <laughs> the girl laughed some more, and my former friend instinctively smashed his foot into the puddle to break up the reflection. Even though it was just a puddle, his leg had plunged through like it was much deeper. He squealed that something had caught his leg. He clawed and thrashed at his leg as something seemed to start yanking him further into the small puddle. Oh no. Each one forceful and Is something the guys starting to get scary large. now. Help me. He begged for me to help him, but I was I was frozen in panic. My heart thumping in my ears for several long seconds before I actually moved in to grab him. John was crying. He looked almost his age for that moment, a teary-eyed high schooler who was frantically trying to save himself from some underwater force in the middle of a city alleyway. <laughs> I like to play with reflections. It's kind of a specialty of mine. The giggling voice played through the air. And there's so many fun puddles out tonight. I looked behind me, and I kept tugging, and I saw her, skipping down the alley towards us. Her voice sounded much closer than she actually was, and the alleyway was impossibly long now. I don't remember seeing anything in this place that was this long of a building. I looked the other direction, and it was more the same. Endless walls with repeating trash cans and puddles. The street well, I have a trash can right here because I'm going to puke in it. John's voice lost all masculinity <laughs> as it cracked horribly in terror, thrashing and splashing at whatever was clinging onto his leg. The puddle seemed to be getting bigger. Long, spindly pink appendages were wrapping themselves more and more around him, jerking further into the water, but never hard enough to break my grasp on him. The girl kept skipping from the distance. The fog playing around her body... That's Pinkie Pie, isn't it? Closer ...in an eerie, cheerful way. Each of her footfalls and her humming played in my ears, sending my anxiety into overdrive as I kept tugging at John. The self-proclaimed thug was sobbing now, as he clung to me, the panic redoubling as new fleshy pink tendrils with fingernails gripped onto his waist and pulled him further down. They were just like the girl's hands, but stretched and warped like a funhouse mirror and frighteningly strong. There was another powerful tug, this one knocking me onto my knees and almost pulling me into the water as well. John's irises were pinpricks, and he was frothing from the adrenaline rush. His nails gripped into my arm, and he tried to climb up my body. It hurt, and I bled from the scrapes against my skin. Oh, jeez. I had only just realized I had been sobbing in fright, and I had wet myself. John had probably not fared any better in the strange water, with the fleshly warped fingers clasping onto him. The girl was next to us by now, happy and bubbly as ever. <laughs> well, you two are sure in a pickle, huh? John Is that Pinky Rose? Now. All he knew was panic, fight or flight, a primal animal instinct of wanting to survive. Pinky Rose playing Pinky Pie. Wasn't that far behind him. The girl reached down at John's arms as his fingers burrowed into my arm. I had stopped trying to pull him out. Now I just wanted to get away from the slowly growing puddle that had whatever monster lurking beneath it. This little piggy went to the market. She cooed as she pried one of his fingers out of my skin. This little piggy stayed home. She did it to another, each one lessening his grip on me. 
He redoubled his efforts, begging and pleading and sobbing frantically, as he was now shoulder deep and I was practically there with him. And this little piggy <laughs> had bad thoughts. Oh. She continued, punctuating this one with the snap of his bone. The hand I'll get over my trash can now. It was promptly gripped by several normal proportioned limbs that resembled this girl's own arms. I saw that within the pool of water was swimming hundreds, no, thousands of this girl, all looking the same. Some of them looking like some strange horse-like creature, others stretching and contorting into unnatural angles. All of their eyes staring right at John's mostly submerged body. She patted my head. And this little piggy had none. I stared at her, <laughs> oh no. frozen in place as she pried John's remaining head. Please no. Me. But this little piggy. She paused and then looked into space in realization. Well, he isn't going home. So I guess this rhyme doesn't work anymore, does it? She shrugged and let John go, and his final terrified scream was promptly cut off by being submerged in water. No! Oh no. Please no. I leapt at the puddle, but it was just regular dirty rainwater now. John was gone. The strange never-ending alleyway was gone too, as was the girl. I was thrusted back into reality with only the bloody scrapes of my arm and damp jeans to prove that any of it had happened. Hey girls, wait up! Pinky, where have you been? Pinky Pie, I knew it! Rainbow colored hair from across the street. I just stared at her from my kneeling position in it the was that Rainbow Dash? Probably frozen in shock. I bet that was there Rainbow was Dash. There a whole assortment of girls, looking like they were ready for a night on the town. That girl, that thing, skipped up to them as happy as ever. I was playing this little piggy with a new friend. She exclaimed. Sugar Cube, I don't think I'll ever understand what you're saying half the time. Applejack. Let's go, girls. We're already gonna be late said the blonde one with a mirth to her voice. As the group moved down the way, the one they called Pinky glanced over at me from where I knelt and gave me the same wink. Wow. It's still out there. And... Oh, it's not over yet? If I can help it, I'm not going to have any bad thoughts anymore. Because, because I don't want that happening to me as well. Yeah, I don't want that happening to me as well. Thank you, Rose. Edward James. My little AI and the Kingdom of Crusaders. And who is that playing Rumba Dash and... Applejack. Was that the Lost Narrator? I I think that was Lost Narrator. <sighs> but you know, even though this, this was pretty bloody, I mean, yeah, that was that was a really good video. I mean, even though that was quiet in some parts, yeah, I still think this is good. Let me tell you that, it's good. It's good. But you know, all those bloody parts that that were shown in this fanfiction? Yeah, I didn't like those at all. Sometimes I don't get used to like blood and stuff. But usually in MLP fanfic readings, they're they're just uh, you know, just pictures. And you can hear the narrator. So yeah. Anyways, I'm getting it out here because I think in about in half an hour I'm going to watch a very special thing that's going to be on TV right now. And it's a Teen Titans Go slash uh, Powerpuff Girls special, which is on Cartoon Network. And I don't know what it's going to be about. <laughs> of course, I think it might be just like the Titans fighting against the Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, that, that's really what I want to say. Anyways, I'm just getting it up here. Once again, guys, thanks for watching, and ahoy!